welcome back. You can see we're in the kitchen today and we're gonna make a grazing board. And don't you just love the idea of a grazing board? You can make it for two people or four people or 20 people. You can make it as casual as you'd like or as elegant as you would like. And there's no need to cook. You can create your grazing board any way you'd like. You can use any ingredients you'd like. You could even make a dessert grazing board because what you're doing is creating a food experience and you want to include foods that you think all of your guests will enjoy. The grazing board we're creating today is going to be very casual. So I'm beginning with a wooden cutting board. I think it gives it an earthy look. We're going to have fruits and vegetables and nuts and meats and cheeses. And so let's get started. We're going to start with a fruit. I have washed seedless grapes and I'm going to place these here. I wanted to not put the entire stem of grapes on, but you can replenish your board as you go along. We have blueberries and I'm going to put the blueberries in a dish so they don't roll off in the floor. <laughs> There's one that tried to escape. Now, I am going to thinly slice this orange and apple. and I'm not placing this on the board yet because I'm going to use it as decoration. And so let's begin with the vegetables. I have pre-cut carrots. These are the small, the little petite carrots that you get pre-cut in packages are perfect. You really don't want to, I would love to use a full carrot, but it's just not practical. And these are child friendly. If you have children in a group, then they love these petite carrots. I have the carrots. I have washed cherry tomatoes. to put small amounts out because you can keep an eye on your grazing board and if you see that there's one item that's really being enjoyed then go back and replenish that. Now what I'm going to do is slice a cucumber I have these petite cucumbers and I'm going to slice these up lengthwise because I want to add a little height to the board and I am going to there we go. I'm going to place them in a tall serving container I'm going to add a dip and this is actually just bottled dressing and it is the Marzetti dressing and you could use ranch or this I like the slaw Marzetti because it has a sweet flavor to it but you can use any kind you want. An Italian dressing would be perfect too. So we have a little height there in the center and I'm also going to add fresh radishes and any other vegetable you have works beautifully. Now I do want to point out that I'm not putting parchment leaves down. I cleaned the board very well before I used it. But if you have parchment leaves, I have the 
summer parchment leaves and the autumn parchment leaves, you can use those as well. And it just adds a lot of color to your board. But I'm going to add some other things later. And I think that might be too much distraction. So I decided not to use them. But I am going to add these radishes. If you are a radish lover, you will want to add a few of the fresh ones. This is that time of year when they're really good. And look at that beautiful color. I was unable to find the white radishes and I don't know why. Maybe they're out of season. I want to make things small enough that you can pick them up and nibble. And not have too much of a mouthful of food, just a small amount. And I'm going to place these so you can see that beautiful color. You could leave these whole if you would like, or just slice them into little nibbles. I think your guests are more likely to stroll by and pick up something to eat if it's very small and they don't have to have a plate if they don't want it. They can just nibble away all afternoon or evening, whichever the occasion is. You can also add hearts of palm. They are delicious. So that's another idea. You could add any vegetable. I have cauliflower. Actually, I think I might add that, cauliflower. I was going to leave the cauliflower in large florets, but I'm afraid those are too large. So we're going to go with a sliced version. And they're easier to dip in the vegetable dip. Now, let's slice some peppers. I have the green, red, and yellow. So I can have all those beautiful colors. I'm going to add those. I think I will place these just like this. just to add some more color. Let's do that a little bit. Ah, very good. And beautiful yellow. I wish I had a drone camera to hover over this and show you how beautiful it is from above. And you know, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll have to ask Santa for a drone for Christmas. We have our fruits and our vegetables. Now let's move on to our meats. What I am serving is Genoa salami and prosciutto. You can choose any thinly sliced meats you would like, but the secret to this is to present it in a way that allows someone to just pick it up and eat it carefree. So we're going to roll this up 
So I'm rolling these up into more friendly pieces of prosciutto so they're easier to pick up. Isn't that much easier to eat than a long slice of prosciutto? And then we're going to take the Genoa salami and make a rosettes. And all I'm doing is folding them in fourths. And that one didn't want to stay, but we're going to work on him. We have our fruits, our vegetables, and our meats. And I'm going to place some orange slices around the edges of the meats to fill in and add color and draw attention to these meats. Food always tastes so much better when it's beautifully presented. We have saved the last quarter of this board for cheeses. We're going to have a creamy cheese, a salty cheese, and a mild cheese. We're going to begin with the Borsen cheese. This is the garlic and fine herb cheese that you'll find in your cheese section at the grocery. And it is delicious. bottom portion of the wrap because I want to be able to take it up. If it's almost finished, then it won't leave a mess. Let's smooth this out just a bit so it doesn't look so messy. There we go. That looks much better. Now I'm going to have a cubed Swiss cheese. I'm using cubed Swiss cheese because it's very edible. And I'm just going to place it around. Who doesn't like Swiss cheese? Mmm. Now I am going to put down sliced Colby Jack cheese. Fan these out. Easier to pick up. area I'm going to put the apples because apples and cheese are delicious together. It's a great compliment. I left the apple skin on so you can see a beautiful color. Now, if we don't think this is beautiful enough, we're going to add a few more items. We're going to add an assortment of crackers. I'm going to put this close to the cheeses. And let's put um, some, maybe over here with the meats. And I'm going to stack these just here. On each side. And fan those out a bit, maybe over here. There, like that. Now we're going to fill in with blue cheese olives over here on this side, but close to our cheeses. So we don't want to leave any spaces unused. We have pickles. We can put these here. These are just kosher spears. Who doesn't like a great kosher spear? 
and this is a medley of green olives, peppers, and black olives. And I'm going to place those. You won't be able to see them yet. I'm going to put a picture in at the end so you can get a full view. I'm going to have those stacked here. And then we have the Kalamata olives. And I'm going to place those between the meats and the cheeses. Now, if that's not beautiful enough, we're going to add nuts. And you think this is full, but when you have people nibbling for a long period of time, it doesn't take long for this to be gone. And I actually had the pleasure one time of watching a caterer set up a grazing table. That table was probably six feet long and it was set up exactly this way. Now these are our cashews. So I'm going to place cashews around in small piles. But back to the table, it was extraordinary. And I thought this table of food is going to be wasted. There's no way everyone can eat all of this food you would be shocked because you don't realize how much you're eating when you walk by and you pick up a little nibble here and a little nibble there. These are almonds and I just dropped one of those and we're going to put these in a little small pile. What you have to do is keep your eye on the items that are being eaten the most and just replace them so it doesn't look as if you're running out. Now these are wonderful sea salt caramel cashews and I'm going to place these by the fruits for sure. Let's put them right here. These will go fast. That I know from experience. And pecans, or pecans, however you pronounce it. And I'm going to place those back here. And once one of your guests finds their little special item that they love, you watch at the corner of your eye. They're going to nibble, nibble, nibble and love it. And any place you have an empty space, place another little pile of nuts. And like I said, you'd be surprised, they won't be wasted. And so, I believe that's pretty full. Now I want to decorate. I know it seems a little overwhelming, but it's just a matter of having everything out and just placing it. If I were not talking while I was doing this, I could have it done in 30 minutes. But I went out in my garden and I gathered our rosemary and I'm going to place this here to add almost as if it's a centerpiece. We have rosemary, we have basil. Let's put some basil over here close to the cheese. How about right here? We'll tuck it in along this edge. And the basil and the rosemary will actually flavor some of these cheeses. Once it's touched it and sat there for just a few minutes and warmed up, you would be surprised. This is time. I'm going to put this. Why don't we go one more time? Let's put it over here so we have some greenery in this spot. I'm just going to tuck it away here, and I'm going to move this out of our way, and that's sage, this is thyme, this is rosemary, and this is basil. I had this one backwards. So now we have sage, thyme, rosemary, and basil. And get that out of our way. When you present this, 
don't put it to the side of the room. Try to put it in the center of the room so people can walk by and enjoy it. And don't forget to include spoons and a forks for picking up. So like, for instance, in our dip, we might want a spoon. You may want to place a fork by your cheeses or your meats. And that way, everything is perfect. And they're gonna think you are fabulous. garnish with edible flowers or herbs and I hope your guests enjoy this as much as you enjoy making it and I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber I would love to have you as a subscriber so tap that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram bye